Hey aviators, my name is Chris Palmer, a master CFI here at angleofattack.com, the flight school I founded in Homer, Alaska. Today we're back for another real life flight lesson with a student pilot. Sienna has been working with me and this is her third flight. So it's been a really interesting process. Uh, this is definitely a powerful lesson, but we kind of uh, think outside the box on this one. Her dad is going to be coming along and riding along for the lesson in the back seat, and Sienna gets to put to test the things that she's been learning, the air work, the coordination exercises, all the different things we've been doing on a beautiful scenic flight here around the mountains in our hometown here in Alaska. So let's roll the intro and get right to it. Okay, welcome to this lesson, folks. I've been working with Sienna on uh, previous lessons that you can see here on YouTube. You can go back and see those after this lesson. Of course, this only being Sienna's third lesson, we've been covering mostly just the basics, air work, fundamentals, uh, how to fly the airplane, just very basic things, but fundamental things. And I, I want to drive that point home because these have been very, very important lessons so far. Uh, things like turns, coordination, holding altitudes, headings, how the wing flies, etc. So what's cool in this lesson is that she gets the unique opportunity to put those things to the test while we do an actual lesson. And this is going to be built around flying again here in the mountains nearby with her dad in the back seat and just getting to see that process take place of those things that she's learned. So again, not a typical lesson. We would usually be working on kind of the next set of things in the curriculum, but this ends up being way more useful and important for her training than I thought it would be. Um, some would see it as a distraction. You know, we are stepping outside the box and, and not like checking every box along the way, but I thought it ended up being really good for her. So now we are going to jump in the airplane where I have all these cameras rigged throughout, um, ATC and cockpit audio hooked up, and you get to be a fly on the cockpit wall as it were, as we go through her third flight lesson. So we'll even um, break this up in the meaningful chunks and chapters so you can kind of follow my thought process behind the scenes on how I'm unraveling this as a good lesson for her. So let's go, let's go jump in the airplane. So, did I have you do a radio test yet? Do you want to? Sure. Okay. So you're going to say, actually, honestly, all you're going to say is Homer radio, 2423 uniform radio check. Radio 2423 uniform check. Radio check. And then they're going to come back and say, 2423 uniform, 5x5 five five, or something like that. You're going to say, thank you. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's it. All right. So this is the push to talk here. Homer radio 2423 two, uniform check. 2423 two, uniform, all radio. Understand you have information, Juliet. No other known check. Say thanks. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Oh, look at you, all confident on the radio. Okay, so let's power up now. Um, situational awareness, thinking of that. As we power up and come to the hold short line up here, just kind of like our caution line, you see the big red paint. We want to start looking at the sky and looking at the runway as we're doing that to make sure that no one's in the way. That makes sense? So I'll be here with you. I'll, I'll cover the controls, but you can power up and you can turn us over there. See how it goes. Okay, good. That's breakaway power. Now you can come back on the power. Good. Muscle that foot in. Put the airplane. There you go. Okay, pull the power back a little bit more now that you're rolling. Good. Good. There we go. Things like that 
like that push a breakaway power to get unstuck and then like almost immediately you pull it back go ahead and pull the power back and stop before these hold shorts just to be sure homer traffic 242 in a form taking runway four for departure right hand turn out over the spit to McEwen. that's it so now everyone knows what we're doing now you can pull out on the runway They'll learn eventually. I'm just gonna let you figure it out. You going out to the runway? Is that the plan? Sure. Okay. So remember, you push in push the power. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. We can go. Ready? Sir, it's hey. all the way in, right? Yep, all the way in. Smoothly all the way in. You're going to feel the airplane want to pull to the left, and so I'm going to add a little right rudder pressure without adding brake, okay? All the power all the way in, and you're going to hold that power there. Good job. And she's ready to fly. Just a little bit of back pressure. There you go. Perfect. Good job. That was like your first... Like, pretty unassisted takeoff, other than the rudder. So, like we did last time, a big emphasis on today's lesson is going to be coordinating that, those turns again. Just, uh, kind of almost exactly like last lesson, just, uh, practicing all that sort of stuff. And, just to mention really quickly, the reason why I take off and kind of climb right by the runway is just in case we had an engine problem, we can make the runway right now and be safe. A lot of my decisions on where I go are, are for that reason. Good, keep that rudder. You're going to have like constant rudder pressure in the climb. Beautiful. Okay, so we're coming up on 2500. Now when we get to 2500, the first thing we do is we change our attitude. So attitude means this, what this looks like out here, okay? So we're gonna basically push this down to get the picture that we're used to. And you'll you'll remember it with practice. It's about right there, okay? Now I'm holding pressure here. Are you holding the pressure? I'll let you hold the pressure. You don't let this picture move out here. And push it down. Now you can reach down and push the push the trim down. How much? Until until you can basically like start to kind of let go when you don't feel pressure anymore, and your sight outside doesn't change. That good? Oh, it's still coming up. You see that? Now I'm just staring out here to make sure my nose doesn't move. I'm looking like at the very edge. There you go, that's better. Yes, yes. Okay, see it's still creeping up? That's where you can do small, small adjustments. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now, uh, basically, I wouldn't say we're gonna play around, but I do want you to just, we're gonna do some turns this way, do some turns that way. Uh, when we first get to a practice area like this is, we wanna clear the traffic. So like we talked about earlier with um, situational awareness, with traffic out there, we want to make sure there are, there's no traffic in the area before we start doing erratic turns or anything, okay? You can do like a 90 degree turn to the left. Good job looking around the corner, exactly. Good, Just stay on that rudder. You can do a little more steep than that, like get it about 20 degrees. Okay. How much is each hash mark? 10. Yeah. Okay, looking around, make sure no one's around us. Very nice on the rudder. I felt all of that. Now you can do a turn back to the right. Very good. Fighting that. Yep. Fighting that turn back the other direction. Exactly. Looking good. You can head up this valley. You want to do that? Okay. So we're trending a little bit up. So what would you do to stop it from trending a little bit up? Trim. Yep. You would, you would push this down first, get what yeah. you need, and then trim off any pressures. And it's going to be really small at this point. It's barely creeping up, so... 
Now you can kind of let go and see where we're at, because we are descending a little bit now, but let's see what it does. Looking pretty good. Cool. Let's see where that settles in. Good job. Good. Very nice. And you can roll out on this heading. Really good job on the on the rudder and everything. That looked really nice. Did you feel nice? Did you feel it was nice? Good. It's a proven fact women are better multitaskers. So, you know, there's that. Alright, David, you ready? Go over Green Lake. Were you born ready? Certain types of light, the blue and the glacier really pops. Definitely doing that right now. So, Sienna, what I'm going to do... Let me check the wind. We're going to come up here just a little bit, so stick to our side here, okay? And it, here in just a moment, we're going to do a turn, just to give your dad a little bit of a look. This is where keeping your head on a swivel, knowing how much room you have to turn out of the valley, is, is nice and helpful, keeping that nice gradual bank. Have you guys ever hiked up here on the right, on Alpine? No. That's a cool trail. Have you done it? Yep. Pretty, it looks uh, like Grace Ridge. Kind of overgrown, isn't it? Uh, no. There's an actual trail there. Huh? Do you get a good view of the glacier from up there? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. It's it's really cool. Okay. Alright, sir. So get your camera ready and she's going to do a left-hand turn. You can get a shot of the glacier. And now you can look around the corner and estimate, hey, how, how much... Is my bank angle good? Is it going to get me out of here? Well, this is actually a huge valley, so we're going to do just fine. But you can just kind of eyeball that. We're doing good. And Sienna, if you want to start to do a nice banking turn here, then we can go past China Poop Peak there. I really like these pools of water down there. And if you, so an actual useful thing, if you look at the water, you can see where the wind's coming from. So on that far side, we see a wind shadow, which means it's calm, and then it starts to get a little more rough. You see that right down here, that little pond. Now it's like glassy, and then you see the ripple, so we know the wind's yeah. coming from that way. At China Food Peak? Yes, it is. Ice. I really like what's going on right now because um, you had your discovery flight, we took almost this, this exact same route, right? But here you are, I haven't touched the controls in 10 minutes. You're keeping coordinated turns, you're keeping our altitude. It's nice, like, you've made a little bit of progress already, so... Solid. Yeah, I'm happy about it. And what I really like too is... And I've talked about situational awareness all day, what I really like to see is that you're not just like looking in here. I can tell you're trying to figure out the coordination stuff and the altitudes, and you're looking at that now and again, but... I like to see your head on a swivel looking outside and dividing your attention between hey, what you should be doing and enjoying it for a second. You know, you're kind of like going back and forth between the two. Anything you want to go see? Any, uh, my, anywhere my you want to look? Over here. Cool. Had any requests? Um, how, far, how, how far can we go? <laughs> That's your money. Uh, we'll, we'll go a couple more um, like valleys down and we'll turn back at about Bear Cove and just come back. Are you enjoying this video and want to learn more? We have an entire library of structured videos on angleofattack.com. We call this online ground school and it's how you'll ace the written test required by the FAA. It's go at your own pace and all accessible right now on any device. Go check it out yourself or recommend it to your friends. Now, back to the video. You gotta pick your battle sometimes with flying. Like, I don't, I don't spend prolonged amounts of time like through areas like that. 
over there where we don't have a lot of good places to land whereas just a few miles right here we have lots of beaches so I don't know it's a little like I'm very risk averse I just make sure that I, I'm kind of always in a position to have options I guess is what I'm saying okay Sienna why don't we do a right hand turn I'm gonna give us a little bit of car peat or you, you never do a little bit it's either on or off and then make sure you do a little back pressure to maintain our altitude right good job look at that eye full of glacier that blue is so cool right now in direct sunlight you really wouldn't see that Very, very nice turn. Can I talk? Is it too loud? No, oh, not at all. Your okay. mic, mic is like very far away. It's almost, it's a little too quiet. It needs to be almost like a lollipop in front of your mouth. Another thing I'll probably start doing soon is like giving you headings to fly on. So then I'll say like 240, which would be west. 300, which is more north. You see that? They kind of take the last digit off. South, which is one eight zero three six zero. So that's another way of saying instead of just like heading toward a landmark, actually have a heading. Cool. We'll follow the coastline. We'll head back in. We'll do Goal Island into the spit, and I think we might do two landings. Back. We'll stop and then we'll take off and do another one. And if you want to practice turns more on the way back, you're welcome to do more turns if you want. It's your airplane. My airplane. <laughs> <laughs> For the moment. <laughs> you're renting it at this very present time so you can do what you'd like. Alright, so uh, go island there, tip of the spit. Uh, you can start to think about coming down in altitude. We are at 3,000 feet, so if we start now, we can gradually come down. So let's maybe think about a 500 foot per minute descent. Remember that here? You might need to change your attitude like you're doing. You might need to change your power a little bit, because we're speeding up as we descend. You can pull the power back a little bit. And then you can retrim to help you stay where you want. Homer Radio Skyhawk 2423 and information Kilo Go Island negative traffic. Right, we got the one in the pattern landing four and uh, another one from the north for Q2. Thanks, 23 and We've got this guy out here. So I want to start looking for him. We might have to do a 360 here. And Homer traffic, 242, Arena Forum, we're uh, just over the marina. We're gonna be doing a 360 here for spacing. Yeah, you can just do a, okay. a turn. Uh, the Skywagon's center in the right downwind, I'm just gonna be full stop down here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Fox Golf I was looking at. We're converging a little bit. So we'll just stay out and come in behind Fox Golf. Okay. Pretty cool, Sienna. Pretty cool. Just fight for that altitude. So you see how we just dip down just a little bit. And that takes time. Like, you're doing really good, like, stabilized on something. But it takes time to figure out how the in-between works, too. You can turn that way. Two, three, and a four. We're just over the... Um, Boat launch on the marina now, turning back inbound for a 45 right uh, downwind four. All right, I'll do it. Uh, looking for you. I see you there now. I might be ahead of you there. I'm just here in the right wind. You see me here up here? 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm looking for you. I don't see you yet. Are you on base? No, he said the other guy. I'll just come at you. I'll follow you in. You come on in. Sounds good. Thanks. Flight of four. Flight of four? Flight of four what? 
Okay, Sienna, so we're gonna, gonna think about getting the power down, get the setup for landing. As I power down, I want to just slow down without descending too much, so I'm gonna pull back a little bit. Free trim, heart heat. Very and high tide. Eventually, we'll get below 100 miles per hour, which is where we can enter flaps. Homer traffic 2 3 in a form, right base, runway 4, Homer. Okay, so I'm turning gradually, right? Staying coordinated. All your coordination efforts are because of this in the pattern. So nice and gradual, we're looking where we're going. We're feeling the energy of the airplane and like where it's going to take us. So I don't know if you can perceive that. Kind of our angle down and how that will get us to the runway. Do you see that at all? A little bit. A little bit. And I'm slowing down too, so I'm pulling the power back as I do that. Ever so gradually. Little retrim, right? See how smooth everything is in all phases? Looking for traffic here. Homer traffic 2, 3, and 4, and final runway 4, Homer. Homer traffic, come to pop right base, 4, full stop. And did you say you're a flight of 4? No. Ah. Well, I just wanted me a runway 4. Ah, I don't know why I heard that. Alright. Uh, we're going to be back taxi to Bravo North. Would you just prefer I pull off on Alpha? Uh, you go where you want, but... Um, yeah, just go where you want. Like, I'll, I'll take my time in there. Probably won't do another. Well, maybe we could. Maybe we could do a touch and go. Okay, so I'm working around down. We have a little bit of a crosswind. And over traffic. Swing B0, Mike, tell. Tip of the spin, 1900 southbound. We're just getting rid of that extra little bit of energy. I'm a radio, smoking bay 025 edge, kilo, taxi in, out, for departure, runway. And I'm going forward. again, okay? There we go. So, I know a lot's going on, but basically, we're just flying stable, right here on what we call the downwind leg, and the this is more typical of doing pattern work as we get a little bit slower so that we can like have a nice methodical way of getting down to the runway. So I'll teach you like how to do all these parts and pieces eventually. Home traffic 2, 3, and 4. I'm on the right downwind runway 4 just to beam the number 4. Just looking where people could potentially come at me, you know? Like this is the base. This is where people come from Solovia. Just like kind of just looking around all over. Looking where they'd be on final approach right here. Okay, now we're going to come down a little bit more. So a little, most of that's power. Since I'm already set up, so I'll pull the power back and my nose starts to come down. Homer traffic, 2 3 uniform, right base, runway 4, full stop, Homer. So we have a cross on it from this way, and it's really pushing the airplane. Can you see your that? See that yeah. at all? Yeah. So you can see the wind acts upon the airplane, and sometimes you got to fly it a little bit differently. Just align with the runway there. Boop. Bring her to a nice stop. I'm just like gradually adding pressure on my brakes right now. Don't want to like slam on them, but I'm just getting a slower and slower and slower. Okay, I'm going to let you take control now. Get a little more taxi practice. So you're on the brakes too. We're going to come around the corner here. A little bit more right top brake. Just a scotch. There you go. Now we're going to straighten out. There. All right, my feet are not on the pedals. Homer Radio 23 Uniform, down and clear if you'll close us out. 2423 Uniform, Homer Radio Flight Plan Close. Thank you, sir. Okay, now how do we turn off the engine? That's 
one step. You could start there, yeah. What else? What keeps the engine running? Nope. <laughs> 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 just <t> You <laughs> just touch it, then look at me. There you go, fuel. All right, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. What did you learn? So please share that in the comments down below. That'll be useful for others. And it'd be a good opportunity for us to interact. And it'd be really cool for us to hear what you liked about this lesson. I thought it was a great lesson of getting to see Sienna put to practice what she's been learning and do so in a non-stressful environment. This is the type of flying that most private pilots are eventually going to do with their flight time. You know, you're gonna take family around for a scenic flight. You're gonna go for a hundred dollar hamburger, that sort of thing. So it's a very simple vanilla flight. We're not doing a bunch of maneuvers. We're just seeing how she holds altitudes, takes us through the mountains, um, coordinates her turns, all those sort of fundamentals. So it's really cool to see it through that lens. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. Subscribe to get more great flight training content and hit all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Thank you for coming. Fly safe. And until next time, throttle on.